Renowned for both her athleticism and beauty, Esther Williams dazzled audiences with her unforgettable performances in a series of popular films. Debuting in Bathing Beauty, she later starred in hits like Neptune's Daughter and Million Dollar Mermaid. Her unique talent led to the creation of a whole new genre, the aqua musical. Over her prolific career, she appeared in over 25 such productions, solidifying her status as a beloved Hollywood figure. Swimming a staggering total of more than 1250 miles on screen, Williams demonstrated time, and again her prowess in the water, and her undeniable appeal at the box office. In every sense, she was a true champion whose name remains virtually synonymous with swimming excellence. Delighting fans young and old, this classic actress left an indelible mark on cinematic history. From her earliest roles to her last, Esther Williams continued to inspire generations of viewers with her enchanting presence and extraordinary skill. Esther Jane Williams, who would later become a famous actress, was born in Los Angeles on August 8, 1922. She was the fifth child in her family, growing up with a love for swimming that would shape her future career. From playing in playground pools to surfing at local beaches, water became a significant part of her life. Her natural talent and passion for swimming were evident from a young age, setting the stage for her rise to fame in Hollywood. At just eight years old, Esther Williams began nurturing her passion for swimming through an unusual first job, counting towels at a local pool in Inglewood. This pool was no ordinary body of water, but one that her mother had tirelessly campaigned to build for their community. As a reward for helping out, young Esther was granted an hour of swim time for every hundred towels she accounted for. Little did anyone know then, these humble beginnings would sow the seeds for what would become a legendary career both in and outside of the pool. Swimming quickly became more than just a chore or pastime for Esther. She excelled in it, eventually competing professionally before making the leap to Hollywood. Her natural talent and infectious enthusiasm led her to star in various aquatic films where she gracefully combined her two passions, acting and swimming. These unique roles helped solidify her place in cinematic history, inspiring generations to embrace their own talents and pursue their dreams wholeheartedly. To this day, people continue to admire Esther Williams' groundbreaking achievements, recognizing how she transformed the movie industry and paved the way for others seeking success against all odds. Even before Esther Williams became a household name in Hollywood, she had already made a splash in the swimming world. By the age of 14, she had won the Municipal Swimming Championship in her hometown of Los Angeles. Her natural talent in the water did not go unnoticed. Former Olympian Eileen Allen, the city's leading women's coach at the Los Angeles Athletic Club, took notice of Williams' potential. Allen began coaching Williams, honing her skills, and transforming her into a formidable athlete. Under Allen's guidance, Williams broke multiple records and went on to win several national championships. Her success in the pool attracted the attention of MGM scouts, who saw the potential in the young swimmer to become a star on the silver screen. MGM signed Williams to a contract, and she quickly rose to fame as a leading lady in aquatic musical films. She used her swimming prowess to perform elaborate synchronized swimming routines, which became her trademark style. With her sparkling blue eyes, infectious smile, and undeniable charm, Williams captivated audiences and solidified her status as a beloved actress. Even before Esther Williams became a household name in Hollywood, she had already made a splash in the swimming world. As a young girl, she showed great promise and passion for swimming, which caught the attention of coach Fred Allen. With his guidance, Williams continued to hone her swimming style and skills from an early age. Her natural talent and unwavering dedication were evident as she racked up numerous accolades. One of her most significant achievements was winning the Women's Outdoor Nationals in the 100M Freestyle. This victory solidified her status as one of the top swimmers in the country, but Williams didn't stop there. She also set new records in the 50M and 100M breaststroke events, demonstrating her versatility and prowess in different strokes. These accomplishments served as a testament to her hard work and determination, paving the way for her future success both in and out of the pool. In the world of swimming, Esther Williams left an indelible mark before becoming a renowned actress. At just 16 years old, she had already made a name for herself as a star swimmer, representing the prestigious Los Angeles Athletic Club. Her skill in the water was undeniable, leading her to earn three national championships in both the breaststroke and freestyle categories. But it wasn't until she joined a team for a medley relay event that she would truly make history. Swimming the anchor lap 
Esther helped her team break the world record for the women's medley relay by an astounding 9 seconds. This achievement solidified her status as a formidable force in the pool, but little did she know that her talents would soon translate to the silver screen. With her natural athleticism, grace, and beauty, it was only a matter of time before Hollywood came calling. And when they did, Esther Williams answered, bringing her unique blend of strength, style, and charm to a series of unforgettable films. Esther Williams' extraordinary talent and success in swimming soon drew the notice of sports journalists. They were captivated by her remarkable accomplishments, which included setting numerous records and winning multiple championships. Her skills in the water were nothing short of astounding, leading to media attention that would change her life forever. As a result of her impressive performances, Williams qualified for three spots on the United States Olympic team, poised to compete in the 1940 Games in Helsinki, Finland. She had worked tirelessly to hone her craft, and her efforts paid off with this incredible opportunity to represent her country on the international stage. Unfortunately, fate had other plans. With the outbreak of World War II, the Olympics were canceled, leaving Williams without the chance to showcase her abilities to the world. Despite this devastating turn of events, she refused to let it dampen her spirits. Instead, she channeled her energy into new pursuits, eventually finding success in Hollywood as a renowned actress and swimmer. Williams' story is one of perseverance and determination, even in the face of adversity. Although she never got to compete in the Olympics, she still left an indelible mark on the sport of swimming and the entertainment industry alike. To this day, she remains an inspiration to athletes and artists everywhere. After catching the eye of the fashion world, Esther Williams found herself modeling for I Magnon in downtown Los Angeles. With her striking appearance and impressive physique, she stood out from the crowd. Soon enough, her unique combination of athleticism and beauty caught the attention of showman Billy Rose. He was on the hunt for a female lead to star opposite former Olympian and Tarzan screen star Johnny Weiss Muller in his Aquacade reviews, which were set to take place in both San Francisco and Los Angeles. After a grueling audition process involving 100 hopefuls, Williams emerged as the ultimate choice for the coveted role. Her background in swimming and natural grace made her the perfect fit for the part. The Aquacade shows featured synchronized swimming performances, high diving acts, and water ballads, all accompanied by live music and elaborate stage designs. As the leading lady, Williams captivated audiences with her beauty and skill, making a significant impact in this new form of entertainment. Throughout her time with the Aquacade, Williams continued to hone her craft and develop her own style. She became known for her elegant underwater moves and powerful strokes, bringing a fresh perspective to the art of synchronized swimming. Her contributions helped elevate the sport to a new level, paving the way for its eventual inclusion in the Olympics. As the Aquacade came to a close, Williams had already left a lasting impression on the world of entertainment. Her unique blend of athleticism and beauty had resonated with audiences, setting the stage for even greater success in the years to come. And so, the actress moved on to new ventures, always leaving a mark wherever she went. Whether it was through her work in films or her later career as a businesswoman, Esther Williams remained a trailblazer, inspiring generations of performers and athletes alike. After catching the eye of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer executives during her appearance in Billy Rose's Aquacade alongside Johnny Weissmuller for a year, the actress, Esther Williams, found herself at the center of Hollywood's attention. The studio and William Morris agent Johnny Hyde relentlessly pursued her, eager to secure her talents for their films. However, Williams remained hesitant to pursue a career in acting. Despite her reservations, she would eventually become one of the most popular actresses of the 1940s and 50s, known for her stunning swimming performances in MGM musicals. Her graceful movements in the water were nothing short of mesmerizing, leaving audiences in awe of her unique abilities. Yet, even with all the fame and fortune that came her way, Williams never lost sight of her initial reluctance towards acting, making her rise to stardom all the more remarkable. In 1940, when Esther Williams was earning 78 per week and married to a USC medical student, she received persistent requests to take a screen test alongside Clark Gable. Initially, she hesitated, but after much persuasion from actor Lou Ayers, she finally agreed. During the screening process, she entered Mayor LB's office dramatically, leaving a lasting impression on everyone present. Accompanied by MGM story editor Benny Thau, who introduced them, Williams even declined Mayor LB's first proposal to become a movie star. She later reflected on the experience, stating, somehow, if you say no to Mr. Mayor and his entire third floor of executives, 
alongside a top agent like Leland Hayward. They simply must have you. They had never encountered someone refusing their offers before. In October 1941, Esther Williams, then a successful competitive swimmer, was presented with an opportunity that would change her life. She received an improved deal from Metro Goldwyn Mayer and decided to accept their offer, marking the start of her career as a Hollywood actress. Williams' first appearance on the big screen was in Andy Hardy's Double Life, released in 1942, where she shared a memorable scene with Mickey Rooney. During a swimming pool sequence, the two actors locked lips while submerged underwater, a daring move that added to the film's charm. The following year, Williams took on another significant role in a guy named Joe. As a United Service Organization hostess, she captivated audiences and gained popularity among soldiers. Her image even graced many barracks walls as a beloved pinup girl, further solidifying her status as a rising star. This classic film marked a turning point in Esther Williams' career, making her a household name and paving the way for more leading roles in future productions. Through her talent and hard work, she left an indelible mark in Hollywood, delighting fans with her unique blend of athleticism and grace. In the movie Bathing Beauty, it was actress Esther Williams who truly captivated audiences during the grand finale. Surrounded by fountains, blazing fires, and a multitude of scantily clad swimmers, she demonstrated her exceptional swimming skills in an elaborate water ballet. This stunning performance propelled her fame to new heights, leading to appearances on up to 15 fan magazine covers each year. Her beauty, poise, and athleticism left a lasting impression on all those who saw her in this classic film. Moreover, in 1953, the foreign press recognized her as the most popular actress in 50 countries. During the late 1940s, the actress starred in a series of films that resonated with audiences, even if their plots tended to be predictable. Many followed a familiar pattern where a boy meets a girl, she swims away, and eventually, he catches up with her. Some notable films include Ziegfeld Follies from 1945, Easy to Wed in 1946, and On an Island with You in 1948. Neptune's Daughter, released in 1950, showcased her talent alongside Pagan Love Song the same year. Duchess of Idaho, also from 1950, added to her string of successes, drawing audiences in with charming stories and stunning visuals. Esther Williams first captivated audiences with her swimming skills in the 1940 film Bathing Beauty. While she was marketed as a swimmer turned actress, not all of her films featured extensive aquatic performances. In fact, some were included merely to meet audience expectations. One such film is Pagan Love Song, where the actress had a water performance as part of the storyline. Despite this, Esther Williams remained synonymous with glamorous and elaborate synchronized swimming scenes, which became her trademark throughout her career. Her impact on Hollywood and the swimming world continues to resonate today. In 1955, Esther Williams took on her last major aquatic musical role in Jupiter's Darling, featuring none other than Howard Keel as the formidable Hannibal. The movie saw the actress swimming alongside real-life elephants, quite a sight. Yet, even as she continued pushing boundaries in her craft, changes were underway in Hollywood. By the mid-1950s, the public's fascination with elaborate water ballads started waning. Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer responded by scaling back their investment in these types of productions, leaving fewer opportunities for Williams to shine in her signature style. Despite this professional hurdle, she remained determined to stay afloat in the industry she loved so much. The actress decided to venture into international waters, traveling to Europe to explore roles beyond what she had become known for domestically. One notable project during this period was The Big Show, an intriguing circus tale boasting Argentinian heartthrob Fernando Lamas among its stars. This classic offered audiences something fresh, while allowing Williams to expand her range as an artist. Moreover, after retiring from the movies in 1969, the actress found happiness in marrying Lamas, who both directed and starred in her last film, Magic Fountain released in 1963. Along with her international stardom, she played a key role in the significant rise of swim athletics in the United States. Her films not only popularized synchronized swimming, but also sparked interest in competitive swimming, inspiring countless young girls to take up the sport. The popularity of her movies contributed to a boom in the sales of pools and swimsuits, making swimming an appealing activity for many families across the nation. It is clear that her influence extended beyond film, shaping a generation's love for the water. After retiring from her successful career in Hollywood, Esther Williams continued to make waves in the world of sports and recreation. In 1984, 
She lent her expertise as a commentator for the Los Angeles Olympics, where synchronizing swimming was included for the first time. As a former champion swimmer and star of aquatic musical films, who better to provide insightful analysis and colorful commentary, her involvement did not end there. With a deep passion for promoting water safety and encouraging physical activity through swimming, Williams collaborated on designing a line of backyard swimming pools under her name. This move made it possible for families across America to enjoy their own private oasis right in their backyards. These affordable yet stylish pools allowed countless individuals to learn how to swim and develop a love for aquatics, all while staying safe in their homes. As a trailblazer both on screen and off, Esther Williams left behind a lasting impact on generations of athletes, moviegoers, and homeowners alike. Her legacy continues to resonate today, inspiring us to dive into our passions and embrace life to the fullest. Whether gracing the silver screen or advocating for safer waters, one thing remains clear. Few have matched the grace, charm, and dedication demonstrated by this classic Hollywood icon throughout her remarkable life. Furthermore, in recognition of her significant influence in film and entertainment, she was selected by the Smithsonian Institution in Washington as one of nine legendary ladies of stage and screen. This event took place to inaugurate its newly opened entertainment division in 2009. The actress's work in musicals and swimming-themed films showcased a unique blend of talent that captivated audiences for years. Her performances not only entertained, but also set a standard for future generations in the industry. This acknowledgement by a prestigious institution highlights the importance of her role in shaping American cinema and culture. Esther Williams, known for her swimming and acting skills, had a fascinating personal life filled with four marriages. Her first union was with Leonard Kovner, lasting from 1940 to 1944. Following this, she married singer and actor Ben Gage in 1945, spending 14 years together before their separation in 1959. The actress's third marriage was particularly unique as it involved tying the knot with her co-star in several films, Fernando Lamas, in 1961. They remained husband and wife until his death in 1982. This relationship demonstrated a deep connection beyond just professional camaraderie. Lastly, Esther Williams entered into matrimony with actor Edward Bell, which persisted until her passing. Throughout her life, the actress experienced various relationships, but always moved forward, finding love again each time. Renowned actress Esther Williams, known for her swimming and acting skills, sadly passed away in her sleep on June 6, 2013, at the age of 91. She took her last breath at her residence in Los Angeles, surrounded by natural beauty and serene calmness. Her departure left behind a void in the world of cinema, but her legacy continued to live on through her work. The actress had been married to her husband, Edward Bell, who remained by her side until her last moments. Together, they shared two beautiful children, Benjamin and Susan. In addition to her own offspring, Esther also welcomed three stepchildren and eight step-grandchildren into her life through her marriage to Bell. These family members were undoubtedly enriched by their association with the talented artist. Despite being taken from us too soon, Esther Williams lived a fulfilling life filled with love, accomplishment, and recognition. As we remember her today, let us take solace in knowing that she rests peacefully after having touched so many lives during her time here. Indeed, her impact transcends generations, inspiring both young and old alike even now. Esther Williams left an indelible mark on both the sporting and entertainment worlds. As a trailblazer for women in sports, her success in competitive swimming during the 1930s and 40s proved that women could excel in athletics just as much as men. Her grace, strength, and determination earned her recognition and admiration, paving the way for future generations of female athletes. When injuries cut short her promising career in the pool, Williams found success in Hollywood, becoming one of MGM's top stars during the 1940s and 50s. She starred in numerous films, many of which featured elaborate synchronized swimming sequences, highlighting her aquatic talents and bringing this relatively unknown sport to mainstream audiences. Through these movies, she inspired countless young people to take up swimming and showed them that it was possible to pursue their passions both in and out of the water. Although Esther Williams is no longer with us, her legacy continues to resonate today. In addition to breaking down barriers for women in sports and entertainment, she also leaves behind a body of work that includes some of the most memorable films of all time. These classics continue to captivate audiences around the world, ensuring that her name and accomplishments remain etched in our collective memory.
So while we say goodbye to this legendary figure, we can take comfort in knowing that her impact will live on for years to come. Rest in peace. Esther Williams, a true legend of swimming. And